Hi everybody, it's Dan Lenhart with another training video on using the new Vikes Connect platform. Uh, this time in this video, I'm going to show you how to submit event requests for space on campus and also talk a little bit about travel with student organizations. So once you get to the Vikes Connect platform, you're obviously going to sign in by using your credentials. I have a fake student organization uh, student user that I'm going to log in with. Okay, once you've logged into the platform, you'll see up here in your profile, something called admin dashboard. When you click on that, that'll take you to the administrative side of Vikes Connect. You'll notice some links over here. Dashboard takes you to this page. Forms is if uh, there's forms that you can either create or fill out. Uh, the organizations, which we'll get to events, finance, and some analytics. We're gonna click on the organizations tab. And when you go in, you should see your the name of your organization that you are an officer of. Click on the name, and that'll take you to the dashboard for your organization. If you're missing any officers, the system will let you know. You'll notice that there are tabs across the top here. We're going to go to the event tab. And to create an event, you just click the plus button. And this will start the process. This is a form that you will complete. I do want to point out a couple of things about this form so that you are aware and so that you do uh, submit this properly the first time. Also, if you are in the middle of uh, submitting this form and you need to stop and go back, you can do that. So this is the event registration form that everybody sees. You'll see up here, submit for approval. You'll notice that if you're getting close, but not quite, you can save that as a draft. I'll show you where to access that later in this video. So you can save this at any time. You're gonna give this a name. We're just gonna say um, meeting. The host, your organization's name should automatically populate, but if you pull down, you should see it, okay? A little thing about, this is our weekly meeting. Okay, time and location. So for example, let's say it's gonna be on next Monday. And at the time it's gonna be Let's say 12 p.m. And it's going to go until 1 p.m. In your event location, do not just put Cleveland State University. You'll put in the location of the building. So, for example, SC 313. Okay. Do not just put Cleveland State University. Is it a virtual event? So are you Zooming or anything like that? If you say yes, you'll put in the URL. If you say no, you're gonna skip that. Is it being held off campus or on? If it is a travel or trip and you say event off campus, you will also need to complete the student organization travel request form. This is very important for those organizations that are traveling to conferences, conventions, anything like that. You must then fill this form out first and submit this form, meet with our budget officer, Maureen. Once this has been all approved, then you can go back in here and complete filling out this information. Okay. So if it is off, if it is off campus, but it's not travel, then you can go ahead and just finish this form. So for example, let's say uh, you are going to meet at the uh, at Edgewater Park for a quick meeting. It is off campus, but you're not requesting space or anything. So you can go ahead and fill this out because it's not really travel. When we're talking travel, we're going by you're staying overnight or you're going to be reimbursed for your travel or there's other expenses involved in your travel. 
So you say event on campus, if it is on campus, you would be the contact person or whatever information, whoever it is, you would um, select an image for your uh, event. Uh, if you create, you can create a form to RSVP to that form and it would fill that out. Do not worry about waiver. Um, you can add tags about what the meetings it is. So for example, that's club meeting. Um, you can make little notes for yourself. You could set budgets and costs and goals if you'd like for your event, not required, okay? Maybe it's only for check-in for members only you want to see, or you don't want anybody else to see it except for members. And then down here, if you're a student organization, you say yes. If you were a department, you would say no, you wouldn't answer those questions. So as a student organization, you're now going to answer all of these questions. Okay. Depending on how you answer questions may lead to other questions. So for example, you see this question here, will you need to access the space before your event? If you say yes, it's going to ask you why and what time do you need? If you say no, obviously we don't ask that question. Okay, so you just go through this form, fill it out, and then when you're all done, click Submit for Approval. If you got halfway done, and then you save as draft, where you would find that, and I'll show you this, I'll save, this is a draft. So it has not been submitted. If I go back, to the student portal where my account is right up here and I go to my profile and click on responses there's that draft right there and I can click on it there it is this is the draft that I started. I can click and edit and it'll go back into the form and then you can edit and complete the filling out the form and then submitting it. Once you submit your event, okay, your advisor will get an email notification for them to review and approve. Once they approve, then I will be notified and I will review and approve and then it is sent to conference services for final approval. Do not assume you have the space until you receive email confirmation from conference services that you do have the space. Now, once you have created an event and it has been approved, it will appear in the events section of Vikes Connect. If you do need to make any um, edits to your event, let's say you need to change the date, the time, anything like that, then you do need to go to Conference Services website. It's csuohio.edu slash conference services. And right down here, there is a facility change cancellation form. You must complete this form first and give it to conference services. They're at the information desk in the student center. Once they confirm that your event has been changed, then you can go into your event in Vikes Connect and then make your changes to your event and submit them for approval. We will not approve an event until we know that you have completed the facilities change form. Same thing goes if you need to cancel your event. If you need to cancel your event, same thing, fill this form out, then cancel in Vikes Connect. If you make any changes to your event in Vikes Connect, conference services will not be alerted. They are not tied directly to this platform. So it's very important that you do that. And that's how you submit an event request or use uh, the event tool when you are doing traveling uh, for your organization. Uh, if you have any questions, please email me at d.lenhart at csuohio.edu. Thanks for watching.